Hi, what we're going to do today is kofta spice chicken. And yes, I know koftas are usually made with lamb. I don't eat lamb, I eat chicken, and this is the way it's going to go. On our last session, we made kofta spice in the blitzer out of the all the, the spices, and there it goes. So, open that up, put it there ready. Now, here's our chicken. I've just like cut it into bits like as you can see just so they're not too big you can do it with the whole breast or you can slice it up you can do it with other meat it doesn't really matter you make it the way you want to make it need a bigger bowl than what we've got oh we've got a whole breast there i might just get a knife and cut that in half using the appropriate chopping board being red for danger two of them there we go i'm just going to cut it the pointy bit and the blunt bit okay put them in there same with that one this I know is a lot. There's gonna be more than four people's worth there, but I thought I'd do a little bit extra today so that it can be made for sandwiches or leftovers cold. Get rid of this. Okay, so now keep my towel there because I'm gonna get the hands into it. First off, we're going to use about a quarter cup of olive oil. If you prefer canola, whatever sort of oil you really want, vegetable. Okay, if you need extra, once you've been mixing it in, that's fine, you just add extra. Now, with your spice mix, I'm gonna just sprinkle it over, and what I'm gonna do, that's a tablespoon, so leave that there, and I'm gonna mix it. Get your hands into it. I actually hate this part, but hey, that's what gloves are for, isn't it? Really get it in there, mixing away. Might need a little bit more spice we'll see yeah i like a little bit more color so wipe my hands off oh cool look at that just a bit about a half a tablespoon so that's for this quantity of chicken one and a half tablespoons and i think that'll be more than enough because you've got all those beautiful spices in there and we're going to leave that for about half an hour you can actually do this the night before so that it really marinades into the to the meat and gets that flavor right through okay so gonna cover it over take my gloves off and we'll get some glad wrap and cover it and put it in the fridge like i said best off the night before doing this or else at least 35 to 45 minutes just to give it a chance to and it also helps it tenderize the meat okay nicely sealed now we're going to cook your kofta chicken add a bit of oil to your pan i know it's a non-stick pan doesn't matter i still like to add a little bit just for insurance and also because this has got herbs and things on it and yes i know that we marinate in a bit of olive oil i still like to add some to the pan okay getting nice and hot so we can sear it straight up there we go we'll see how this goes we've got our marinated chicken did with our kofta mix you can actually do this in the oven just by putting it on some baking paper on a, a tra an oven tray no. now because these aren't all cut exactly the same size keep an eye on them because they're all going to cook at a different speed this one's a little fatty for somebody that's hungry I'm just going to leave those for a, a second run. Oh no, I'll chuck that big one in. That's another hungry person one. A couple of minutes. Don't pack it in too close together because you won't have it frying. You'll have it broiling or, or braising. Um, it, it really, the flavour isn't as nice and it can tend to make the meat a little bit on the tough side. So, and especially chicken breast. It doesn't take long to cook. Of course, the bigger pieces, you leave for a little bit longer. There we go. Oh, smell the cumin and coriander in that. Whoa, delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, beautiful, coming up beautiful. All right, those pieces are a bit bigger than the others, so we'll just leave that for the time. Beautiful non-stick pan, love these pans. This sort of meal, but there's a lot of satisfaction when, you, when you're cooking it and you're plating it up, that you've actually done everything from scratch. You made, made the seasoning, the, the spice mix 
from scratch yourself. You've put it on the chicken, you've marinated it, now you're cooking it. The salad that you're going to dish it up with, you've, you've, okay you didn't grow the things, but yet you cut, you diced, you sliced, you, you broke up things and experiment with your tastings and the satisfaction that you can get is, honestly, it, it's my therapy. I treat cooking as a therapy because, and especially this type of cooking, doing it from the start to the finish. Mind you, in this series, there are quite a few things that I don't eat. <laughs> but fortunately, people that have eaten them have said they've enjoyed them. And they know they're in big trouble if I find out they've been telling me lies. Okay. Turn that down a fraction to finish off the cooking. When you're cooking the chicken, you know, you can see these pieces won't be cooked properly yet. And you have a look. And when you push on it, see how springy and spongy it is? You don't want it to be rock hard, but you don't want that much of a spring. You see, that one's the same. Because of the thickness of that one, just that little bit. At this point, if you want, you could put it on an oven tray in an oven to finish off while you're doing like if I was home that's what I would do these pieces I would put on in the oven just at about 180 190 while I'm cooking off the other pieces like these pieces in the bowl so this one feel a little bit of time to go on that one because we that be enough